So hi guys, <laughs> here you see me on uh, day one post-surgery. What I had done yesterday was uh, an op on my knee, a small arthroscopy uh, on the meniscus in my knee. Now look, you know, this was elected, this was something I chose to do. The history behind it is that um, for, uh, for a long time now, maybe going back 15 years, I've had the occasional niggles with my knee, this particularly this knee. And I've just put that down to just overexertion, uh, maybe incorrect technique, etc., etc. So each time that something's happened here, it's maybe got a little bit inflamed or swollen or, or, or got locked up. I've assumed that it's just, as I said, overexertion, etc. And uh, I've rehabbed it successfully and got back to normal activity and exercising. So it really hasn't been um, a particular issue for me. Uh, I injure all sorts of parts of me in, in the stuff that I do, and I'm always always come, seem to come back from those successfully. So I haven't really thought too much about there being a, a particular issue with the knee. But over the last year or two, I'd say I've noticed the regularity of those uh, instances of the, the knee being an issue increasing. So I then, about a year ago, decided to um, start a new regime of trying to strengthen the knee up so I started that the knees over toes guy um, type exercises you may have heard of this guy and it's brilliant the, the, the system that he uses also um, pull sledges backward and this backward motion or moving backwards seems to to push the or, or help the knee to to regenerate in all sorts of ways that um, moving forward doesn't I, I, I've, I've heard that uh, in the far east they've been doing this for hundreds if not thousands of years to rehab knees walking backwards um, if you like, and pulling something backwards. Um, and so I started that, and that seemed to dramatically uh, improve the, the stability and, and occurrence of those instances of the knee uh, giving out. But you know what? There was something in the back of my mind that was telling me that, uh, that there is something a little bit more going on, the fact that it was going, um, uh, increasing its regularity, etc. So I decided to um, consult an orthopaedic surgeon about three, four months ago, just to get absolute out of curiosity, his, his opinion of what's going on. And we had an MRI done, and what, 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 he, uh, what he came up with was that there were two small tears in the meniscus in, in the knee, um, on, either, on either meniscus. And uh, he said to me, look, Mark, you're doing a really good job of uh, keeping this um, maintained and keeping it stable. Uh, but the, the issue is, is that, you know, you know, spring chicken anymore. He said it in a very nice way. I hasten to add, and, I, and you know, at 60, uh, I appreciate, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on a little bit, but age is just a number as I keep saying on this channel. So let's just keep it at that. Um, but I did think that uh, he, he had a point there. So he said, look, you know, there is a chance that the tear could get bigger or even a, a small snippet of the meniscus could sort of snap off. And then that free floating fragment could cause all sorts of bigger damage, if you like, within the knee and cause it to lock up and more invasive surgery might need to be done. And the issue with that is that, um, you know, you might not get the, the functionality out of the knee afterwards that you would if you did something now. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty au fait with um, how these things work. And so I took the decision to um, have the surgery done. And um, the, the actual procedure itself was, was really straightforward. Uh, I went in on, it was a day case, so I went in the, into the hospital um, and was prepared, taken down for, for uh, general anaesthetic. No, I was I anxious about that? Well, of course you are going to be all these sorts of things, but you know, I, my, my day job is as a, an anxiety therapist, so I worked on myself. Um, and uh, you know what, it was, it was so, it was, it was painless, easy, no, no issue at all. So I was out before I knew it and I was coming round before I knew it and no real after effects, felt like five G&Ts to be absolutely honest with you. So as I say, it was absolutely fine from that point of view. Now, as far as the, you know, what it felt like after I came round, well, there was no acute pain. I, I didn't feel, you know, a throbbing pain, a stabbing pain, anything like that. When I went to uh, get out of the bed eventually, when I was ready to, and put some weight on it, when the physio came through, um, what I found was that uh, it felt a little bit bruised, as though the two bones were, were crunching against each other slightly, but it wasn't to the extent where I felt like I couldn't walk or couldn't, uh, couldn't move. And I, and I was I managed to, you know, successfully independently without sticks or crutches or anything like that, you know, get to the bathroom, come back, etc. And even, you know, um, address myself 
uh, which was a little bit strange, a little bit difficult, pulling on trousers when you have to bend over in that way. I'm not the most flexible of person, so there's all those little things to take to take into to care. Um, they did say that I should be wearing a, um, you can see on the other leg, I've got one of these DBT type, very sexy stocking type things. That helps the, the, the blood keep flowing. Um, I should be wearing one on this leg. I will be when the bandage comes off tomorrow. They've also provided some sort of tubey grip type bandages, which I'll double skin on this leg and wear one on that one. Again, it's all to promote venous return. In other words, resources getting through or increasing the flow of resources through to stop any clots occurring, etc. cetera. Um, what am I doing as far as pain meds are concerned? Well, as I said, I had no pain, as no acute pain, I should say, or nothing that's required me to take any sort of intervention type drug. Um, they did suggest I can take ibuprofen, have some cocodamol if it, if it gets really bad. But to be honest, uh, I've had no no issue at all. So coming home last night was was pretty easy. You know, got driven home in the car, managed to get out, get into the house, walk around, sit down, go to the toilet, make some food. I even managed to get up the stairs. Get up the stairs is interesting. You you lead with your good leg going up and you lead with your injured leg coming down, but one step at a time, bit by bit. So all little tricks, tips and tricks to, to, to note on, on that instance. You should really, for the first couple of three days, be resting it as much as possible with the, the leg elevated, um, even underneath the cushion, um, raising it up, etc. cetera. Um, as far as any sort of exercise is concerned, you know, some basic um, circles of the, of the ankles like this, just to make sure that everything's working there. You know, I can do, you can do leg lifts, etc. cetera, um, but just be guided by pain. You know, if there's any pain at all, don't, don't go past that point of pain or stop at that point. Um, the only thing I've noticed today is the back of the leg feels a bit tight and I'm suspecting that the, the hamstring is um, has tightened up. And there's a little muscle at the back of the knee called the popliteus, which I've had some issues with before. And that tends to constrict and cause the knee to feel a little bit um, tight at the back. So I have been able to do some, some stretches. You can do some forward or seated, as I said, you can see here, seated sort of hamstring stretches, just, just gently down again, never to the point of, of pain, etc. But that, that will, and it has loosened out the back of the leg. Um, as I said, you can, there are other exercises that you can do, but I mean, to be honest, for the first couple of days, just keeping it to stable and uh, not exerting yourself too much. Um, as far as, you know, any inflammation's concerned, I can't see if there is any, but it doesn't feel, when I'm pressing down here, it doesn't feel like there's too much inflammation. Many videos and, and people um, online suggest using ice um, to take things down. That's not what my surgeon or the physio at the hospital suggested to me, but I, I know enough about these things to know if I do find inflammation there, I will put an ice pack on that to, to take it down. I am seeing my physio in a couple of three days and, that, and at that point, I'm, I'm really keen to get going with that, uh, with that rehab. Um, you know, you know me, if you know me, I should say, and you know this channel, you know that I have had injuries before and, and I've, I've vlogged those and showed the, the recovery, how quickly you can you can recover if you're, if you're constant with that, never to pass the point of pain, but constant with that rehab um, and you're diligent with it, you can you can make, um, you know, very good, very good recovery um, possible. So look, you know, how am I feeling? I'm feeling okay. You know, it's only day day one, but I'm I'm pretty confident that this thing um, can be um, quickly quickly recovered. I think I was a little bit naive going into it, thinking that I'd recover faster than I could. I had in my mind, for whatever reason, I'd heard two weeks, and that's ridiculous. Obviously, knowing it, knowing what's happened now, and I think realistically, you're looking at a really good outcome. You could be back to doing normal daily activities that could be quite strenuous within six to eight weeks. And they're looking at, I should say, about four months, four to six months before, you know, the really strenuous stuff for most people. Look, I'm I'm not like that. I want to be back. I'm not going to, you know, endanger myself or, or you know, um, or, or ruin my chances of recovery by, by pushing it too fast. But I think, you know, I, I can I can lower that that amount of time. So I'm looking at a set around eight weeks. Let's see, let's see how it goes. And that's the whole point of this. I, I'm making this log here to, to show you, you know, my progress and what is possible. Um, 
So that's really it as far as as far as the, the procedure and, and what's happened to me is concerned and what the, what the, the future is going to, to hold. If you've got any comments, you've got any questions, please feel free to drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Also, we really appreciate it if, you, if you're interested in following my progress, maybe subscribe and you'll get an update as to the next video that's been released. And maybe you'll find other stuff on the channel that you'll find interesting, my, my past exploits, which will be expanding once this thing comes, comes of age. Oh, and just to say, just because I've got this doesn't mean I will stop exercising. Absolutely not. No, this I still have a body from here to here, and this is going to be pushed. I, I suspect my my pull-up record's going to go through the roof, as are, or other aspects of my upper body development. So um, you know, keep an eye out for that over the next few weeks, months, etc. As well, um, mindset is all on this on this game. You know, for, as as my main gig, I am an anxiety therapist, so I help people deal with all sorts of stresses and strains. And you know, I'm working on myself, particularly on this one, to make sure I've got that right growth mindset. That uh, you know, I see this just as a challenge and just something to be to be looked at and, and to be worked through. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not, it's not, it's not major, it's not dramatic, it's not tragic, you know, so I'm not, I'm not making out that I'm, I'm, I'm a particular case of any sort. I just want to, you know, to reassure people that, you know, there is, there is lots of hope once you've done this and, and the outcome can be very, can be very good. So just keep an eye on, on what's going on. Um, I think that's enough of me from now, though I'll, I'll update you again in, in a week or so's time with the next instalment. Until then, take care my friends and uh, best of luck with everything.